squat. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to another studio vlog. Uh, where am I starting with this? Ah, I don't know. Okay. I'm just currently cleaning up so I can get started on some art. Finally. Fi finally. <laughs> the last proper art I did was the animal ornaments. I have four of them done and I was working on a fifth. But it was too late to use those for my shop, so nothing came of those. But <laughs> they're drawn. I can use them in the future. And other than that, I did a little bit of sketching to plan for the artwork I'm working on today, but that's it. Like, I've been so busy with the sketchbooks. Packaging stuff for my store. I just had a huge influx this past week because Casey Golden made a couple videos about my sketchbooks. Oh, that just fell right into the garbage, didn't it? Ew. So yeah, yesterday, Sunday, I spent almost the entire day packaging orders. And I had another day like that last week as well. But we're almost sold out of the sketchbooks now. I have like 37 left. So it's finally gonna slow down. Plus I'm closing my shop December 15th. My friend Whitney made these. Her link's on the bottom here, WhitneyLu.com. Look at these, tiny peach, tiny apple. I gave her a cutie pine and ginger bun because she was helping me package those. So I gave her those pins and then when she came to visit this weekend, she gave me these ones. Oh, I'm getting warm. This cardigan's gotta come off. I've got this bucket of enamel pins I need to pin to my pin board. Is that ever gonna happen? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess this whole canvas can come off for now, because I'm gonna be using my iPad. We'll get to this later in the vlog. By the way, this is my attempt at sweatpants, but make it fashion. Cottagecore comfy. I also got them in this color. <laughs> I'm just, I gotta embrace the sweatpant life. You know, I'm tired of resisting. I work from home, I just wanna wear comfies. So this is what I have planned out so far. These colors are not gonna be accurate, but that's the plus side of doing a sketch digitally. I can refine it all I want and I can even plan out the colors and very easily swap them out. Someone keeps screeching at me and being all roly poly. I got stuff to do, Kiki. I already took a break to pet you. How many pets does one kitty need? I'm gonna zoom in on your white spot. I'm gonna expose you as not being a solid black cat. There it is, exposed. Wait, can you even see what I'm drawing? <laughs> I just realized because the contrast, you might not even see this. I'm drawing this part big, so then I can just turn, like, rotate it, and whatever. Can you open up my, whoa, whoa my jug reference. Because I did save an image a while back. So, let's discuss this artwork a little bit. I'm doing this voiceover after I did the sketch. It is not quite how I originally planned it. Although it's pretty similar. First of all, I was struggling so hard with this. The fact that I haven't been drawing much lately is really, really showing like, I mean, at least to me, because I was so slow, constantly redoing sections. And I mean, full body stuff is not my strong suit to begin with, but even just something like the face, I was flip flopping between different styles, couldn't decide what I wanted and, just so much back and forth. And ultimately, I decided to completely scrap the human character, which is so odd because she was one of the main things in it. Although I just, I mainly wanted the picture pouring and things coming out of it, but the girl was there pretty much from the beginning, I think. It's hard to remember because I've had this vague idea in my head for a while, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just decided I didn't like her and took it out. Plus my mind kept going back to other items potentially being in the air. Like I kept picturing a spoon with a bow on it and decided to go more in that direction. I guess I did three utensils. There's flowers and flower petals like I originally imagined. And so it's really not that different. But the fact that the character is not in there makes it hugely different in my mind. The human character. There's two kitty characters and I, I colored them. Kiki Midna colors, because I just love my little babies. 
I mean, one was going to be kind of kiki-ish anyway, and one was going to be orange, but I'm like, well, I can give it little mid-ish details. At first I thought, is it too distracting if one cat has way more detail on the fur than the other? But the picture has some detailing on it, so maybe having the midna in the front actually helps balance things out. There's that, there's a gradient from a, a reddish orange. Well, I guess it's not even that reddish, but a dark peachy orange over to yellow. So then based on the background, that would dictate how I colored everything else. And I think I mostly like everything with the utensils is a bit tricky because unless I make them all different colors from each other, they're going to blend in maybe a little bit. I mean, when I go do the actual painting, I can give it more contrast. I at least made the bows a different color on each one. <laughs> I feel like the, the utensils fit in because it's a pitcher, which is a dish. And so the silverware kind of goes along with that. I toyed around with adding pastries to it, ultimately decided against that. But yeah, this is the final thing. This is what I'm settling on. And the line art is clean enough that I can project it onto the canvas anytime. But it's finally there, yeah! It's ready to get going down onto the canvas, which is the next step. Okay, it is now Wednesday, and I'm going to use my projector to project the artwork onto my wooden board. So, I need to open this up as straight as it'll go. I don't know if I'm going to be painting with it propped up on the easel. It's nice, but it's annoying to film because I'm like, where do I put a tripod? I'm left-handed, so the tripod should be on my right, but that's where my other desk is, so it's always really annoying. <laughs> Honestly, for something this size, I probably could just use transfer paper. I don't have any, but I could like, DIY some transfer paper. But whatever, I'm gonna do this. I'm busting out my heavy duty tripod. I never mount this thing on a tripod. Usually I like roll out my Ikea Alex drawers, stack some stuff to get it to the right height. Then I was like, wait a minute, why don't I just put it on a tripod? And then it's easier for me to adjust the positioning of it. Oop. This is just, I hate the way this has little screw bits. Like as much as I hate getting my fingers stuck in tripods that have the little snaps on the legs, they're much nicer than these things. Got the plate on here already. It's right at the front of the projector, which is a bit odd. Whoa, whoa. There are different ways to plug into this. You can just straight up put a USB stick in there with the image on it, but it's a little bit tough. I prefer just hooking up my laptop via HDMI and that way I can scale the image in Photoshop, like your view of it, the zoom in and out, to be a size I want for projection. So what I can do now is hide the color layers. Probably should have made groups to make this easier for myself, but whatever. Control J to duplicate, then Control E to merge. And what I can do is just keep hitting Control J to duplicate the layers, just to make the lines a bit darker. Now this can only go so much in focus from such a close distance, like that's blurry and I can make it sharper, but only up until there. And this adjusts the angle of it. So we're gonna have to pull back. Oh yeah, having this on a tripod is a game changer. <laughs> okay, that's too low, but we can just raise the bar now. I don't think the dimensions of my canvas were quite right because I aligned it to the top and bottom of the board, but now the edges have a little strip where there's no drawing. Okay, I've shifted it this way because I really liked the placement of the picture against the edge, and it's very easy to extend that. So I forgot I wanted to do an acrylic base coat of the background before projecting, and I just set it all up like perfectly and spent all that time. I'm not gonna touch this because it's positioned right where I want it. I'm moving, hey, onto the floor. Can you get your anus off my artwork? I'm gonna work down here so I don't muck up that setup. <laughs> What's this fur doing on here? Oh, it's stretching the inner thigh. Now with my oils, I have some colors that are kind of similar to what I need already. Similar-ish. For acrylic, I don't. I might just mix on the canvas, to be honest. So yeah, these colors might not be exact. It's just the first base coat. This is gonna get covered in oil, but you need lots of layers when you paint. Why is there red on here? <laughs> just like 
bits of red. Oh, I do not have much white. I had this tube of a titanium white, but it's almost empty. I need another. Why does this have red in it too? Now, I want this to have a bit of a streaky look. Again, that's not really necessary for this layer, but like I don't want the background to be a perfect blend. I want it to look a little bit painterly, but for this first layer, it doesn't matter so much. I cannot tell how good of edge coverage I'm getting, but whatever. I'm trying to work fast. I'm trying to blend in this white before it dries. Some of the areas where I put down blobs of paint dried before I could fully spread them out and so there are these little dots of paint. <laughs> like I can see little circles, it's annoying. And then some of them randomly get reactivated and uh, like they just weren't fully dry so they get reactivated and start smudging everywhere. Which is what you were originally supposed to do. Okay, this is probably fine. I'm getting a little too picky with this considering it's gonna get covered. Kiki, you stay away from this. <laughs> you have a certain track record, a literal track record. Her footprints are still on the floor, by the way. I have not cleaned them up. Just so it's at an angle and won't get stepped on. Okay, I made it. I turned a little early at one point and may have gotten a little lost. While that acrylic paint is drying, I figured it'd be a good time to head to the Ho Depot. Looks like I gotta pick up a security camera because ours doesn't work anymore. Our front one, it's really, really old. And those old ones don't have replaceable batteries. We have been doing a uh, solar panel method with it, but it got to the point where it wouldn't charge at all. So I went looking for somewhere where I could do a same day pickup and Home Depot had them. So here I am. Okay. I've already paid for it, so I just have to walk in and grab it, basically. Okay, back in the car. Picked up the camera. I got a different type this time. The old one was a ring stick-up cam, those old rectangular black ones. And I got one that has floodlights on it, just because our front always has issues with our porch light. It like just randomly decides not to work. <laughs> when people catch you vlogging. I'll need a better solar panel for this one, which I did order off Amazon because they didn't have them here. But then Amazon didn't have this one readily available, so I'm kind of, you know, ordering from two different places here. But I can head back now and project my artwork on the painting. <laughs> I'm now back home. I'm going to make some white cheddar mac and cheese for lunch. And I just powered everything on in here because I can start transferring. Oh my god, if I put my hand here, it's gonna push the board. <laughs> I need two hands! We'll start in the middle, just for the sake of holding this camera. Oh yeah, that's there. I can see it. Uh, do I want it a little darker than that? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at these blobs. These are the blobs I was talking about that would not go away. As long as they're covered in the final thing, that will be okay. That is really not showing up much. Maybe I want to use a different type of pencil. Although I do want it to be subtle, you know? Just gotta work it a little bit. A little bit of back and forth. Some areas I used a graphite pencil because like for the kitties, 
I just wanted a bit more precision because these pencil lines are very thick, the ones I used the Prismacolor pencils for. Plus, as we got to the darker paint, I also switched to graphite because I couldn't really see the brown very well. So it's a mix of both. I probably could have used graphite for all of it. I just thought it might be a bit smudgy, but ultimately it doesn't matter that much. I do need to fill in the edge of this because I only traced up until where the proje projection stopped. And since we're extending the canvas a little bit, I'm going to need a little more. Now, in my mind, this was a knife because I did a fork and spoon already. But now I don't know. <laughs> I just assumed we wouldn't see the top of it, right? I could just do a curve so it's like a fork or a spoon. You'll never know which one. <laughs> You'll never know. Actually, based on my curvature, it looks more spoonish. If I bring it out a bit, then it's more forkish. If we're only doing fork and spoon, it should go fork, spoon, fork. Maybe it's a spork. Only I know the real answer. <laughs> I don't. Now I'm gonna lay this flat on the desk. My wrist hurts when I do too much vertical stuff. Although, to be fair, this was ultra vertical. But also, it's easier to film from top down. <laughs> I don't have to worry about proportions being skewed because I've already got it. The outline's traced, right? There are too many tripods in this room. I should put away some stuff before I do this. I've got some sandpaper out because I did sand the gesso a little bit before I painted. All right, I just finished microwaving this piece of paper. Why, you may ask? <laughs> I'm using the Stay Wet palette for the first time. The one from the Jazza box. Oh my God, it's hot. And the sponge is already wet. We lay this on. I don't know why it has to be hot water like that, but it immediately gets cold touching the sponge. It's said to put cold water on the sponge. Oh my god, there's my palette. Here's the lid. I'm curious to see how wet this will keep acrylics while you're actively painting. Because obviously the lid is off when you're using it. Hot Jackie. I made it with the Keurig, but I microwaved it because I added some creamer. Okay, I had a bit of a failed mixing session. It's really hard to mix vibrant colors like this is almost cyan. It's a very vibrant minty color. And I have a color like that in oils, but not acrylics. Oh my God, this is so messy. Look at this thing. <laughs> so this color is not going to be super accurate, but again, it's just the first layer. As long as it's close, then we should be okay. And I'm mixing this color in here just because I need a lot of it. And I'm using some fluid acrylics which are a bit too runny for this palette, but we will use the palette later. This is just a small amount of paint, just to see if I can get the color I want. I was using some golden fluid, acry flu fluid acrylics, <laughs> but I think the Prussian blue is just the wrong blue to use. It's the only one I had for those fluid acrylics. And then I remembered I have this one, so I wanted to give it a try. Although honestly, this color's not that much different. You can see it compared to the original. <laughs> And then these are just way too chunky. I also tried mixing in some of my other blues and because they're heavy body, it just does not mix well. It's just chunky. Cause like adding more white's just gonna make this more pastel. It's not gonna make it more saturated, right? It's, I want it light and saturated, but that's really hard to achieve without a pre-mixed paint. We got a little geeky in the corner. I'm gonna just take this small amount though and see if I even like this, cause this might be way too thin. This is not even close to the right color. I mean, the coverage isn't too bad. It's still kind of dark. Oh man, I don't wanna have to go straight in with oils cause like the water is the next thing to color and then go in and do the characters. Cause it would just be nice to do everything in one layer of acrylic and then move on to oil, but I don't know now. I just don't want any kind of overlap because you can put acrylic underneath oil, but you can't put it on top of oil. Maybe I could go to the store right now. I already did one trip, <laughs> oh my God. Although to be fair, Michael's is in the complete opposite direction. So if I couldn't have done both in the same trip anyway, I would probably rather go to an Opus, but Opus is not that close to me. I mean, wait, Desairs isn't too bad. Oh my god, but Desairs is kind of close to the Home Depot. Oh my god, I could have hit up both. Oh, Radiant green. Oh, baby. And look at this ice green. Yeah. I've got some other ones like Radiant Blue, Radiant Red. But like, I would probably use a combo of these two 
for the oil painting portion. But I, you know, I, just, I do need the acrylics. I do. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go get them <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh no. Three. <laughs> oh my god. I just got to Desairs. They just closed two minutes ago. I should have checked before I left, but I was like, there's no way they close at five. I could do Michael's as a backup, but it's like the complete opposite direction. <sighs> I should have just gone to Michael's in the first place. Oh no. <laughs> oh. How badly do I want these girl locks? I mean, kind of badly. This is not the only painting I would use them for. Dude, I left my Michael's gift card at home because I don't have my full wallet. Sorry, the person who saw me was in their car, so I like filmed from down below. But <laughs> oh my god, look at the frame rate when it's little like dim lighting. It's awful. But yeah, I have this like three hundred dollar Michael's gift card. <laughs> it's at home. I mean, I could swing by home before going to Mc or McDonald's, <laughs> Michael's, since it is the opposite direction. And yeah, my phone's dying. Wait, what is that dog doing? What the dog doing? Oh, he's falling behind someone. Okay. There's this leashless dog just like sauntering across the train tracks with no human around. But I see, I see his human now. Okay, it took me like almost half an hour to get home. Traffic's a little heavy. I am gonna go to Michael's just cause I just really want the paint. There's a Canadian tire right across from Michael's and I'm tempted to go there to get the screws for my drawer pulls. Cause the last time I got some, they ended up being too big. I've been liking small purses lately just because they don't dig into my shoulder as much, but then I can't fit my wallet in it. <laughs> oh my god. I have two gift cards. I don't know how much is left on this one. Woohoo! Let's go shopping! Tonight's our night to watch shows, so I'm like, hurry up, Bailey. <laughs> we agreed we'd watch shows as of 8 o'clock. So I can paint until 8. I just put on the big purse. What am I doing? I mean, I could bring that purse, but I... Uh... Oh my god, there's a Dollarama here now? Okay, we're here. I made it. Got my gift cards in tow. Here we go. Hmm. I told myself I would not buy Liquitex Basics. But that's probably the closest color I've got. There's really not much. This one almost looks bright, but it's really not. And it's like open. Yeah, that's level one, level two. Wait, is there level three? That's watercolor. I mean, if I'm desperate for that particular color, I can get some Liquitex basics. Look at these bright ones. Well, actually I've gotten this before. It's very, very thin, like it does say on it it's kind of transparent or something oh this little square means it's transparent if it's solid square it's more opaque wait what does this have okay solid square good i'm looking for not easily mixable colors like this maybe you can't really get cyan easily because cyan's the true primary you can't you just can't mix it this is not cyan this is turquoise but it's very bright like a cyan at least they're cheap oh my god i turned around this is where the level three acrylics are. The question is, do they have the bright colors? No! <gasps> no! This would be the one I'd want right here. It's gown. Vibrant green might be nice. Semi-opaque. So I probably still need to get this. Wait, wait, what are these? Oh, that's the heavy body. This is the soft body. Blue, that's teal. Ideally, I'd go even brighter than that. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go with this one instead of the Liquitex Basics. But are there any others? I don't really see any unless I want like a vivid green. Wait, what's this one? Light blue permanent. Why is the lid like this? Brilliant purple. This swatch is fake though. That's not a real swatch. <laughs> okay, I ended up going for a lot of the colors. <laughs> And then look at all this paint. This is the craft paint, but... <laughs> well, I can't think of anything else I need, and I don't really want to dilly-dally, so I think I can head out. Wait, where's my car? Dude! Oh yeah, I parked up here. Okay, I made a mistake. The gift card was 200 not 300 But still, my other gift card had 40 bucks on it, so... I still have like 100 left. Look at this little nurse mouse. 
<laughs> or doctor or whatever it is. I guess it says doctor. <laughs> I had to come look at the ornaments. I just had to. Why? Why? <laughs> the puck. What's this fox doing? Is he building a little computer or something? Dick in a box mouse? Okay, I compare this to my handle. I think these are right. It's quarter after seven. I'm finally home. Nearly three hours. Wasted. Well, it wasn't a waste. We got the paints. And some snacks for tonight. There's a save on foods in the area I was in. So I popped in to see what they had for their, their food bar because you can just like get food by weight. And you can even get like hot foods, like hot and ready stuff. You can basically just go there for lunch if you want to. I didn't realize how expensive it would be though. $7.33? Because they're not pre-labeled. They scoop it in and then weigh it. So it's kind of expensive. Five ninety eight. dollars And then sausage roll. Beef. And then I picked this up when I was at Canadian Tire. All dressed flavored popcorn. I'll just pop this in the fridge for now. That can be our snacks for when we're watching our shows. By snacks, I mean supper. We've got 45 minutes till it's time for our shows. Let's go, go, go. <laughs> Kiki, note that water's not for drinking. Yeah, this might actually be fine as is. It's okay if it's a little darker than what I want it to be. So yeah, then we probably don't need this. Well, it is pretty liquidy. Let's see. Oh. Now this water's also gonna have some variation to it. Oops. <laughs> It's going to have, uh, you know, different colors in it and some shadows, highlights, that kind of stuff. But this can just be solid color for this first layer. I might want a different brush type. I love flat brushes <laughs> for blending, but don't really need to blend here. Just need to get around all the objects. So a round brush might be better so I can have a pointier tip or maybe just both. Maybe just both. I actually left this brush sitting on the Stay Wet palette while I was gone and it would like the paint was still wet on it when I got back. I just, I didn't mean to leave it there. I just forgot. This one might be good. Get in those tighter areas. The downside of soft body is the coverage tends to not be as good, but it's just so much more spreadable, which is very nice. So I really like both. I kind of use different ones in different moments. And if anything, I should over paint these lines, like paint inside the lines a little bit because you don't want a gap of that yellow showing in between the spoon and the water or the spork whatever this thing is I suppose i can put this back on huh oh wait okay so weird i got new paints i'm so excited well i thought i would get the whole acrylic layer done today but that's definitely not gonna happen i'll work on it some more tomorrow though i'm slightly switching up my filming days it probably won't make much of a difference to you guys but for me it will because I've been trying to do it where I edit on Wednesdays and then I film Thursday through well it's supposed to be till Tuesday but some stuff from Wednesday can get in there but I just end up editing on Thursday all the time instead because <laughs> I'm always like I want one more day to film I want Wednesday and when I plan out my week it's kind of tough because in a way I'm also planning out what's going to be in the vlog but if I'm stopping filming midweek it's cut in half it's like okay well half the stuff i'm doing this week is going to be on the vlog and the other half is going to be going in the next vlog and it's just kind of annoying for planning purposes but since i'm straying towards uh editing on thursdays i'm like whatever let's just embrace it and i'll stick that editing in the second half of the day as long as i just don't take too long to edit because <laughs> then i can film stuff for the first half of, th of thursday as well then maybe around 3 p.m or so i can start editing now, some of these shapes are water bub, 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 droplets, that's the word, <laughs> not bubbles. <laughs> and some are flower petals, so I have to remember which is which. I don't have my reference open at the moment, but it's not too hard to figure out. Plus, I might add some extra petals and things and droplets that I didn't originally paint in. I've got a very simplified shape for the water right now, and it might be a little bit different once we're done. So yesterday, I finally beat Dark Souls 2. <laughs> oh, that's way too much pain. It's been taking me forever. Well, I did take a break from the game for a while. Like, I didn't touch it for two or three months. <laughs> then I came back to it recently, and I've been trying to finish it off. The DLC took quite a long time, but 
finally got through it. Now I have to hurry up and play Dark Souls 3 before Elden Ring comes out. So many games, so little time. So much art, so little time. So much store stuff, so little time. Life's too short, man. Okay, it's now eight o'clock. That's as far as I got, but I'll work on it some more in the morning. I feel like this is a great example of the difference between soft body and heavy body paint. Just the difference in coverage. You'd have to do multiple coats to get more opacity with this, or just a really thick blob like that. <laughs> Over here where I put some different paint underneath, it's nice and opaque. Although it kind of mixed in with that heavy body paint too. <laughs> I just noticed Kiki's there, but she's got like a foam thing on her back. <laughs> There's like a bucket right here, right? And she's like, oh, you're in it. Oh, I thought she, oh, I thought that was her butt back there. I thought that was her butt and that the foam was on her back. This is so confusing. Everything's black. You're in the bucket. Oh, hello. You're in the little baby basket. Hello, baby. I'm just getting some crank. This new crank is so dusty. <laughs> I probably will not keep it in crinkled paper. I think I will go the tissue paper method, unless it ends up annoying me and I go back to crink, but... Gingham tissue paper. Oh, it would be so cute. It is now Thursday morning, by the way. I've been fighting with my frickin' printer, dude. It's been very bad the last couple weeks. It misprints more labels than it prints properly, because it always has issues with the right side of the label, and I don't know why. Like. I make sure to clean out the insides and stuff. But I don't even think it's a cleaning issue because you'll get like a few good labels, then some bad ones, then some good ones, like all in the same printout. It just, it's had problems since I got it, but it's just been worse. So I kind of want to get a new one. Probably the same model or similar because the zebra ones are the ones that work with chit chats. I do have a super cute Munbin printer, <laughs> but it doesn't work with chit chats. Look at it, it's so cute. I did see that Catnip made a video about a new printer and I like squealed and clicked on it immediately because I was like, yes, I need to replace this one. <laughs> and because the one she was reviewing was a zebra printer, but I'm um, not a fan of it. <laughs> I was very excited about that printer, especially since it was a nice sleek white, but it takes cartridges for some reason and they're so expensive. And there's only 190 per roll and it costs a fortune. Like, I didn't even know that printers like this could take cartridges. So I was like, oh no, that's gonna send my roll costs through the roof. So ugh. I just thought I'd bring that up because I knew someone else would if I didn't. <laughs> the one I have right now is refurbished. So maybe the person who originally had it knew that it had problems and didn't want it. <laughs> did I put the thing to Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, I didn't turn on Rick. He's got to warm up. Ta -da. I might not do rolls anymore. I kind of want to go fan fold for my labels. Because I had a fan fold stack that I got with the Munbin printer. And it was so nice. <laughs> I'm used to rolls. And these jumbo rolls, my printer does struggle a little bit with it. Because it's got to unwind the roll. Whereas with a fan fold, you can have a huge fan fold stack and just like, it just pulls from the top. It doesn't have to bear the weight of the entire roll. I've got 15 orders to do right now and I have a handful, like maybe 10 in a box that I packaged two days ago. I'm gonna run those to chit chats today because we're at the point where sales have slowed down so I'm doing a couple runs per week. All the sketchbooks, all the sketchbooks are sold out except the Daisy Cream. And even those are getting pretty low. So now we wait, I guess, for the restock. <laughs> it's gonna take months. Rick ran out of tape. Oh my God. This is my last roll. I mean, I have this big craft roll still, but for the custom rolls, this is all I've got. This will be enough though, because uh, like I said, slow trickle of orders now. Plus also I'm closing the shop on the 15th. Okay, there's the batch. It's blurry, but it's there. Kiki? Okay, time to get back 
to painting. I gotta take my cozy cardigan off so I don't get paint on it. <laughs> I think I'll just do the rest of this painting speed paint style because I feel like this video is already getting really long and I still have to edit it today so I can only paint for so long. <laughs> So here we are, the final segment of this long ass vlog. I told myself I'd make them slightly shorter. I mean, they have been slightly on the shorter side. They've been like 25 to 30-ish minutes, like high 20s, low 30s. And for me, like high 20s is sort of the sweet spot. It's a good length. It's not too intimidating to click on. I mean, in general, I think longer is better because I just like listening to stuff while I work on stuff. But as a creator, you don't want to scare some people off if it's too long, you know? There needs to be a sweet in-between spot. Plus, I've been posting a few things to the Bumble Bailey channel. Just extra tidbits because I don't want there to be too much personal stuff in these vlogs. So I did say in the last one that I posted a Christmas decorating video. I also have since posted a video about our Christmas party, which was the Saturday before this all this footage you just saw so like two days before this footage started so if you're interested in seeing that that's over on the bumble bailey channel you can see all my prep for it and then stuff from the party itself and yeah about this painting it's coming along it's very exciting seeing this much color go down it is just flat color and it's very you know patchy not very exciting and it's really really it's the ugly stage of the painting but it's still so exciting just seeing it go from that whiteboard to this. Oh, I just, yay! I don't know, it's finally coming along, and I know it's not much to look at now, but I promise you, it'll only get better from here. Once I go in with the oils, ooh, baby! <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, I don't know how this would work for prints. I can maybe look into getting some custom really long prints, and I'd have to ship them rolled in a little box. Like they could go within my existing boxes. Maybe I've kind of been thinking about it over the last couple weeks. Or it could be printed off as a series of three prints. But it's not like it's too long for two prints. But it's not long enough for it to be three wide. Because it'd be kind of cool to frame them all separately, you know. Have like a little, you know, combined they make one big painting. But it's it's an awkward size so I don't know, maybe maybe I'll just inquire about the long print method, see if the print place I use is willing to do that. Because they do do really big sheets. So if you stuck two of these per sheets and cut it in half, it could maybe work. Maybe, maybe it will work. I don't know. So not very practical size in terms of products, but I'm going to make a good bookmark. <laughs> but just such a fun size for a piece of art because I never work on stuff with these dimensions. So very very fun and I'm really happy with my decision to get rid of the girl and just do the cats and utensils and flowers it is very cute and yeah it is Kiki and Midna it wasn't gonna be but it is now so far Midna is just like orange with booties but it'll look more like Midna on the future layers Our bubbles. so yeah that is it that's the progress I've made so far on this stay tuned for the next vlog next week to see more progress on it and thank you so much for watching see you next friday excuse me <laughs> hmm. i don't know if that was kiki but she conveniently happens to be sitting right there let me see your paws baby me thinks it was kiki